What up, Impact Loungers? It's gonna happen. You know it's gonna happen. Let's talk about it. Bam! It's BQ, welcome to the channel. As I said here in the opening, it's gonna happen. We know that it's gonna happen. Tessa Blanchard is going to be the X-Division champion of Bound for Glory. This one is clear as day. You know, they were doing a very good job building an underdog underdog story with her for a little while. Now it's like, oh, let's 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 push her as hard as, as freaking possible. Like, in my opinion, it should have backed off a little bit after the couple losses to Sammy Callahan. I thought the, the second match with Sammy came too quickly. You know, I understand they were building the number one contendership. They could have done it without having to face Tessa to do it, though. That's, you know, my personal opinion on that. But I think that happened too quickly. And then when she lost the second time, I think they needed to back up a little bit. And now she's just, she's facing OBE every single week. Um, she's teaming with Daga this week against Jake and Madman Fulton. Uh, there's no way she's going to win this time. If she does, I quit. I quit. I will, I will delete the channel she beats OBE again. But they're starting to push this pretty hard now. This, this, you know, it went from a story everyone was into, like, to, okay, this is a little much now. Uh, I think we all expect her to win X Division Championship at Bound for Glory. They're doing a ladder match. I would imagine, I mean, she's she's a pretty strong girl, don't get me, she's stronger than I am, even though BQ's a little bit of a beast, don't trip. But I would imagine just because women aren't built this way, she probably doesn't have the upper body strength to do um, Ultimate X. I could be totally wrong, she could have plenty of it, but... Um, I think the ladder match probably makes a little more sense uh, factoring in a female into this. And then she's beat Jay Chris so many times and made him submit and all that shit. He's beat him, she beat him so many times like she can't beat him again. So the ladder match makes a lot of sense because she can win. She can climb a ladder. She can get the belt. You know what I mean? And it doesn't inc involve tapping Jay Chris out or making him submit or even you know beating him. Um, necessarily, so uh, I think it's something we definitely expect to happen. Then the next thing I think we expect to happen is that she's going to cash it in as option C. She's probably going to, you know, defend the title for a while though. I can I can see that happening. I can see a lot of X Division matches. I I just want to see her against someone other than OBE to be honest. I don't think she's just going to like cash it in the next night or something. You know what I mean? I think she's going to defend the title for a while, kind of like they do with Brian Cage, and. Um, I think this is definitely le leading to her and Sammy, you know, which is a cool story. It's just that we can see it so, you know, miles away. Let me know in the comments what you think about the feud and where it's going. Uh, her versus OBE every week. If you think she's going to be X Division champion, if she, you think she's going to be world champion. And one more thing of note, I've got a new podcast coming here to the channel called Power Moves. It's going to be covering... NWA Power. Now, I know it's difficult for me to do my B-side podcast usually, uh, so I'm adding a second podcast to this, but um, and NWA Power is something I have a lot of interest in watching. It's got a lot of former Impact stars, especially ones who are around in like 2016, which is a year that I, I really liked. Um, I should say 2015. Yeah, it was 2016. So, you know, a lot of guys, um, Allison Kay, James Storm, Bram, um, where it goes by Thomas Latner, you know, uh, obviously... Nick Aldis is there, um, Kingston, did I already say Kingston, so th there's a lot of guys and gals that we like, that we're into, so I have a lot of interest in NWA, and I think it's, you know, close enough to Impact, I know they don't want to work with Impact, we'll talk about that later, but I think, you know, it's close enough to Impact in the sense that a lot of the former stars are there, that I think I can cover it here on the channel and on the podcasting uh, network, so that's just an update for you guys. And hope you guys tune in to check it out. And in the comments, definitely let me think, let me know, excuse me, what you think about the whole Tessa situation, X Division champion, all that shit. It's BQ, and I'm out.